Thank you very much for visiting my channel. If not difficult, like and subscribe to my channel to always be aware of events. Thank. She made a name for herself as Sporty Spice in the iconic 90s girl band. And Mel C lived up to her nickname as she gave a very energetic Glastonbury performance on stage on Thursday at Worthy Farm in Pilton. The singer, 48, flaunted her very toned abs in a cropped black t-shirt that was emblazoned with the slogan, Alexa, play Spice Girls. She completed her look with a pair of bright pink Adidas trousers and comfortable white trainers as she bounded around the stage. Mel also donned a pair of black headphones as she took to the DJ booth and dramatically flicked her hair around. The brunette beauty wore her dark locks in loose waves and opted for a naturally pretty makeup look. On Wednesday morning, Glastonbury opened its gates at Worthy Farm in Somerset for the first time in three years. Thousands of fans are set to descend on the festival for the first time since the coronavirus pandemic. Glastonbury Festival 2022 takes place between Wednesday June 22nd and Sunday June 26th. On Friday, Saturday and Sunday the headline acts will close each evening in turn with a slot on the pyramid stage. There is also a headlining legends slot, which is scheduled for Sunday tea time. Billie Eilish, Sir Paul McCartney and Kendrick Lamar are among the headliners taking to the iconic stage. Glastonbury 2022 will be broadcast live on BBC iPlayer and BBC Sounds throughout the entire festival. The BBC has promised to deliver over 35 hours of coverage over the course of the festival. Which also marks the first time the BBC has broadcast any music event in ultra-high definition. The BBC's coverage of Glastonbury 2022 will be led by a host of familiar faces, including Zoe Ball, Dermot O'Leary, Lauren Laverne and Jack Saunders. iPlayer's dedicated Glastonbury channel will launch on Thursday 23 June, streaming live performances, preview programs and more across the four days. It will also be possible to watch highlights from the festival from various sets via BBC Music's YouTube channel. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date. Peace for everyone.